Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking for Dogs. This week we're going to tell you the story of Oscar, the German Spitz with a magnificent coat that you see in our video here. His story of being bitten by a tick, a paralysis tick, which is the worst kind of tick bite, and his fight for life. What does a paralysis tick actually look like? A paralysis tick has a long snout and legs towards the front of the body and some species of ticks are no bigger than a grain of sand. It's going to be a bit like hunting for a needle in a haystack, but it's very important that you do search your dog thoroughly if you notice any strange signs. Oscar is a foodie and he loves going for his morning walk. The first sign with Oscar was when he was going to go on his morning walk. He was trying to climb the stairs, but his two rear legs looked like they weren't working properly. He also rejected his chicken for breakfast, which was very unlike him. We're advised to regularly check our dog for ticks after all outdoor playtime and walks, even if our pet is on a preventative, which Oscar was. Ticks are drawn to dark, moist areas on the body, like under the collar, under the tail, inside the groin, between the toes, and even on the dog's eyelids and in their ears under their front legs, on elbows, and inside the mouth along the gums. Oscar was flipped onto his back and a thorough examination was made right there in the driveway before he went on his walk. After searching all the obvious areas first, it was time to open Oscar's mouth and take a look at his gum line. And in his mouth, the tick was found, attached firmly to the upper lip. You can see the lump in the photo that we've got up here for you. Now, paralysis ticks will very quickly kill your dog, so it is an emergency trip to the local vet. Hello, Oscar. Once you get your dog to the vet, survival is not a guarantee. Luckily, this tick was discovered early and the first signs of paralysis had only just begun. Oscar had not yet begun to vomit, but he had started to lose the use of his back legs. The tick was removed, he was given antivenom, and then he was shaved all over and a thorough examination to make sure no more ticks were on his body. Roland went down to visit his best buddy, as Oscar had been at the vets for three days. And it wasn't until day three that we can pretty much guarantee that he was going to be fine. Once Oscar's magnificent coat was shaved off, he looked like a very different dog and in fact he was affectionately nicknamed a Chihuahua. After three days at the vet it was time to take Oscar home and keep him very quiet for the next 10 days. That meant no walking, no running, no excitement because there was a risk that he could still have had a heart attack after everything he'd been through. We were also told to give him small frequent meals to build up his strength again. Roland was a little disturbed at all the smells as he tried to piece together the puzzle of the story as to what had happened to his friend for the last three days. The tick treatment we had the dogs on were the drops that you put on the back of the neck. We've now changed to a chewable tablet which lasts for up to four weeks. No matter what tick treatment you decide to have for your dog, it is not 100% effective and you do need to do your daily examinations, especially in high tick season, which is spring through to summer. Oscar's appetite soon returned. Small frequent meals did the trick. Roland got to join in all the fun and he also shared the small frequent meals for several days. Oscar did look like he missed his long furry coat and was a little put out. He would often scratch or just shake himself and he also got a little bit cold so you'd see him shaking. He needed to have a, a nice warm rug or a jacket on.
Ruby came over for a visit one day, so we showed Ruby's mum and dad how to check her for ticks inside the mouth and other places that she probably doesn't want to think about. This simple checking procedure can save your dog's life. We hope you found this video informative. Part of owning a pet is to go through the good times and the bad times with your pet. Sometimes, sadly, they don't make it, but in this case, Oscar lives another day and to tell another story. Please share this video with anyone else you know who owns a dog. It could save their lives. The paralysis tick can take just 24 hours from the moment it bites your dog to the time the dog is dead, and it is devastating for the family. Send us a comment if your dog has ever had a tick or had a similar experience. We'd love to hear your story. If you like this video, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up on Facebook and above all, have a fabulous week.